Police says over 930 pounds of the great purpose conk, you know. See, you're talking about food to the brain. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to call up a name too much. We don't know what's going on. It's sense me now, you know. Yeah, man, in a St. Catherine. So right I know me I tell us it's a big seizure, you know. I want to tell her what them boy they do do with this. Bag of things, they have to make a statement. If I know bag of things, TV, it don't make sense. A bag of things, TV, I run things all the time. Bag of things, TV, media. It is life, just face reality. Ladies and gentlemen, see there? The man, they must say, boy, they must go ship this over. And where them there go with it, we are going to find out, you know. Saying, the same catching south will continue to pursue persons involved in and spaces used to conduct these illegal activities, said Superintendent Upton Nichols, head of the operation of St. Catherine South Division, ladies and gentlemen. Here were the police, they must say no. The police say they have made another dent in the drugs for guns trade between Jamaica and Haiti with a big ganja seizure in St. Catherine. Look how long a boy they go and read them and sit there. That's why so much machine full up in Jamaica, you know. Because Haiti want green centimeter, the green leaf. And then Haiti now have a problem with the piece of iron them. Whole pot iron over Haiti all over upon the ground. Man, they have a problem with Jamaica iron them, you know. Saying we are talking about the machine, them the big tall up, tall up six pants. Them yet to have a problem give Jamaica them thing, you know. But yet to want meat, they want cow, they want goat, they want chicken, they want the green leaf because a whole of money value over there. See a way. So, what they might do now, I exchange it with Jamaica and the police, they make a big dent for the board, they want bust the racket, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, according to Iglina, the Corporate Communication Unit of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, around 2 p.m. yesterday, the St. Catherine South Police were carrying out operation in Plantis District when a motor car was seen along the road, you know, saying, yeah, man, the police, they carry out some whole party thing, and I said, all right, we go check from this, so. you go this, so. you go this, so. check this, so. check that house there, all right, so on Kiara, what are going on here, so with this Kiara? Here we're going on now. The vehicle was checked and searched and more than 935 pounds of compressed green leaf were found inside. Jaja, the man they ready to take off with the green leaf, them, you know? See? The man said no one was arrested, you know? So the man, the man said nobody they need if you pick up nobody still, but the green leaf is now in their possession. However, the vehicle and the green leaf were seized. Yes, man. Take up every damn thing. Grab up your vehicle. Grab up your green leaf and left with it. We now left nothing back. You see me, I say? Yes, man. Because you know, when the boy, them look a dirty, dirty bungle, them, you know. Because the boy, them are so look a dirty bungle. When them get that the money, they know. A machine uh, sitting them by with it, you know. And shoes lace, you know. Yes, the man. And when you look now, you see Jamaica and them are drop on the ground. Boodoof, 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 boodoof. See it? Red syrups have splashed out all over the place, boy. Because of the same boy here, yeah. them look a dirty nigga here, you know. You understand what I mean? I say, yeah, man. Now they must know in quotation, the St. Catherine South will continue to pursue persons involved in and spaces used to conduct these things. Yeah, man. And that is superintendent I say, you know. Yeah, man. The man in our skin teeth over there right now in the St. Catherine. The man, they might carry out some serious work, ladies and gentlemen. No, see kiss me neck back. We don't see what I go on here. Anjo Olness, you know, the president of Jamaica, Prime Minister, find out, say, boy, we are born fire upon the whole of things, them. Mr. Admiral Bailey, the top dancer, general, saying, Admiral Bailey, bugger things, media TV, and his viewers and subscribers, always, I say, we need some serious measures for taking at the Jamaica, you know. Some boy, if you get hung to, you know, some boy, head for bus off. So, you yeah, know, Mr. Olness now realize, say, boy, we are coming down upon him hard. Yeah, we must say that people don't card to your loop. JCF will not fight crime with terror and barbarity, you know, said Mr. Olness. So he must say now we must classify what we are say as a bad man thing we are use. No man. Mr. Olness, let me straighten you up on the one. We nah use no barbar behavior no this, that, that. A fire we are fight with fire, you know. You have to fight fire with fire. If the boys them now seeing they look a dirty bongo them decide the boy them are gonna get bad pan we. 
and deal with people so vicious. What you do? You go pick them and deal with them soft or you turn up a crime strategy and a crime plan upon them. Because all we are saying you know, we need a crime plan, you know, and a crime strategy, you know. And we have to deal with these boys, you know. Saying, you want to see a country loop now. Despite people hinting at some quarters, the Jamaica Constable Force, JCF, will not return to the days when its use of force ultimately meant the use of violence, you know. See? The declaration was made by Prime Minister Andrew Olness on Sunday who explained at a press conference that the police have now moved into an era of conducting several dynamic police operations in the recovery of firearm and interdiction of gangs, you know. So that you must say is a different major man make it now. It look like a some soft way my deal with the boys them in the morning and them have boy are too vicious for you to deal with them like that, you know. Yeah man, me no back that man, me no support that man, man if you go harder now, seeing, you what they must say now, however the nation leader is cognizant that there is an argument in the public domain which would want to see the government response to crime return to those days. So if people want a bad man days when other man go kick off do and some of them like a dirty bungle boy, head get lick off, you know, seeing, we are said to Mr. Andrew Olness now, even if you're not have to deal with this sock. Like that way, there, but we need some more teeth in the comb. It come like a boy, you're not chap right now. You have a dull machine to walk around, Mr. Andrew Olness. We want you to sharpen your machine blade, you know. Even if you can't sharpen it on two sides, it's better for we. Saying, yeah, man, that's the Jamaican people they might deal with right now. Man, I must say, you yeah, walk around with a dull machine, brother. You understand? You're not chap. You're not chap with the machine, you know. You come like a de, my shit back here I use for the boy them. I wanna see how the youth them are dealing like a nine year old. This I wanna get licked down over this so that wanna drop over this so and you walk around with a dull my shit man. Nah man, you have to turn up your eat man, you have to buy one file and sharp me on my shit man. And that way I say you know. Simple as that, you know. Saying a card to the paper, he said there was talk by individuals who wishes to see a return to the period of time when the use of our police force place the good reputation and the public support of police force in jeopardy see you yeah, may say mr oldness we're not trying to put the force in a jeopardy because you can't go to uncle some country and tell the police them say when some boy test them and then box down a couple of them and kick down a couple of them you know a jeopardy man will put them force in a no man a man that might do the right thing and a measure everything if you deal with the force nice and sweet a force i go deal with the nice and sweet but if you go on like you're a bad man and you do so much things, the force are going to beat up you. And that's what I say, you know? Yeah, man. He must say, boy, the police were accused of acting in such way. So he must say, boy, you know, want the man them come against the police and come down upon them. You understand? But when I tell him, say, right and now, I want him to turn up with it. I want him to sharpen him in cutlass and now, because don't last him to walk around with. And that the public tell him. But he begs about you know, saying, ladies and gentlemen, this incident now with this girl, let me get to find out, say. Because we are jump over here now to our next incident, you know, the third one. This is a little girl that we get slapped with. The mother is saying, you know, mother of teen urges parents to be vigilant because them could have done more for save the little girl. You know? Even the father that came out with the statement. Me not think him they do enough, because you're supposed to raise hell. Because once you talk to your little girl on the phone, you know, you're supposed to all evil get a police officer. The phone and say, yo, talk to the girl and my daughter. We want her right now. Man, I'm supposed to launch for her. Saying, but my face of the father was too comfortable. And the mother also. This is why she has said, Mother, our parents must come down more. When the daughter, them are a boy, picking them, I get too bad and I get out of hand. They must come down more upon them. But it's too late now, lady. You understand? You come down too late for the daughter now when the daughter gone. I can't to star a grief stricken Keisha Foster, mother of slain teen Tony and Reed, is appealing to parents to get more involved in their children's lives. Oh, you mean? Come in now, have my daughter or have my son, and see them sitting here go on. I mean, I come down hard. You must be mad, man. Jesus, God, it's too late now. Foster, 36, believes her daughter could be alive today if both she and Tony and fathers, Albert Reed, I done more to protect her as she displayed the behavioral abnormalities and several occasions. They could have hold her man and talk to her man, saying, counseling, see counseling, and say, yeah, no, you're not going to win. And yes, yeah, so you're yeah, turning up. You're still right, son. You'll go to school. You'll be the best daughter in the world. 
see you not to go there so you don't have if you have a little boyfriend nothing wrong with that but you must be of your age and of your type of pedigree you can't do the criminal boy you know you yeah, run around with them a bleach out face boy there and I go on with them see, plus you yeah, look up in your 40 what is that 15 you're not ready for them something there yet saying and your book if you go take up yeah man go take up your book man you have a serious funny thing ladies and gentlemen are the big bad bagger things media tv like and share support the platform up 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 bagger up, things up, up, media up, up, tv up, up. man thank you for watching make sure you share it make sure you subscribe press that notification bell to stay updated man jamaican assassin killing all names urban legend jackal out